On rare occasions, we get to witness moments of sheer genius. This is not one of those moments. <laughs> Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts. Push the monitors back out of punching range. And let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. I mean, that's awesome, bro. No, I, I, I like that people change their mind, brother. I think that that's good. I changed my mind. I could be, I'm definitely still wrong about stuff. And you have no idea how true that statement is about to become. But I think the point is that if light is instant, it can't be a physical particle called the photon. That doesn't even make sense. Well, if I turn the laser on, it's a physical particle that comes out of the laser. It can't be instant. Yeah, yeah okay. Like the thing about it is, is that most of the time with that model, when they're saying this particle that's leaving this and traveling and going to there, that does come back to heliocentrism. And um, like why it's so ingrained now is coming back to uh, general relativity and the fact that C, which is just C, which is based off of the heliocentric model. So the speed of light comes from the heliocentric model and general relativity. Hey, eh, Brian, tell you what, folks, time to get out the oven mitts. See, you know where C came from, don't you? Well, it came from Maxwell's theories of permeability and permittivity. And then Einstein took that and had to make it constant so they could have something to measure against because everything else was relative. The speed of light doesn't come from Maxwell's equations, Austin. It can be derived from Maxwell's equations, but it's a physical thing, a thing that actually happens. It's something that we can measure directly. It was measured by Romer and Huygens in 1675 by observing the moons of Jupiter. It was measured again by James Bradley in 1729 using aberration of light. And those measurements increased in accuracy up to 1972 when a guy named Evanson and some other people using laser interferometry were able to measure it to within six parts per billion. It's a physical measurable thing and Einstein didn't fix it to be a constant. It just is that way, Austin. You know, it's now C is the average distance between a globe out and its heliocentric sun over a 12 month period. If you look at the maths, it's exactly C. How in the world can those two things be exactly the same, Brian? One of them is a distance, the other is a speed. The average distance from the Earth to the Sun is what we call an astronomical unit. It's 149,598,000,000 meters, give or take. The speed of light is a speed, not a distance. It is 299,792,458 meters per second. The numbers are off by a factor of 500 and the units are not even the same. What in the world are you talking about? But I'm letting you know that the, that also, if you look in a vacuum chamber, if you look at the permeability of a magnetic field and the permittivity of an electric field, if you combine those two with Maxwell's equation, you get C and it's generally pretty accurate. It, it's actually not See, accurate. It changes, yeah. but I didn't know what you're saying. I, I like you're saying, let's say a laser pointer, right? Austin, I don't try to figure out what color my new shirt is by looking at the sales receipt. I look at the shirt. We don't try to figure out what the speed of light is by plugging numbers into Maxwell's equations. We measure the speed of light directly. And oh, by the way, if you know what Brian's trying to say, please don't keep it to yourself because we have no idea. You can take a laser pointer and you can use the calculation of C with that. You're using trigonometry with that, right? You use a triangle. So the, the, it sends something out or creates a, right? Creates a, um, a, a, a uh, a signal, let's just say, I don't have the correct terminology, right? It's creating a triangle with the starting of that, let's say, let's call it uh, light, the point on the wall or whatever you're hitting and the sensor next to it. So it's creating a triangle, using tri it uses triangulation. That's actually what it's using trigonometry, sorry, to give you a distance. But the, the main part of that is, right, the main backbone or calculation within that is C. 
You're talking about a laser pointer, Brian. One of these things. When you push the button, it puts a dot of laser light on whatever you aim it at. Its only real practical use is to drive the cat crazy. You can't use it to measure distance. This is a laser range finder. This is what measures distance. You point that at a target and it measures the length of time it takes the laser light to go from the rangefinder to the target and return to the detector. Knowing that length of time times the speed of light gives you the total distance the laser beam travels, and if you divide that by two, you get the distance to the target. That's how that works. Trigonometry has nothing to do with this, Brian. It is a simple time measurement. Well, you see, let's just say, you know, that's not exactly C because I don't have all the thousands. I have it there on my computer, but I don't have it in my head. C is 671 million miles per hour. You take a quarter of that, right? You quarter that. So not 671 million, one quarter of that. And you see if you can get any change in reality, you won't. I broke it down to 16 times, one sixteenth of it. No change. In reality, nobody's going to notice the difference. That's a diff because no because it invokes um, it invokes a speed to light number one right we agree that's the first thing but and secondly we don't can't whatever even if light has a speed we can't notice it with our eyes so you never like it's only calculatory you like you can mm -hmm. break it down way 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 down from six hundred seventy one million miles miles per hour and it'll still make absolutely no difference in the real world with a laser pointer. Or with yeah. a with a, di a distance point or, or or a speed gun for police, it's the, it just changed the calculation. It won't change anything. That's all, folks.